All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are Real Time. Today, we got book three, episodes seven and eight of Avatar The Last Airbender, The Runaway, and The Puppet Master. Last episode was pretty crazy. It was the Avatar and the Fire Lord. We learned about the relationship between Avatar Roku and also Fire Lord Sozin. Um, pretty much, they were like best friends growing up until Sozin... Or, until Roku was named the Avatar, then he kind of just had to dip for like 13 years or something around there to, to master all four elements. And by the time by the time he came back, um, obviously he was way more powerful and everything. But Sozin was now Fire Lord, and uh, I think some bad ideas crept into his mind. He was like, "Wow, the Fire Nation's so great. Let's just make everyone Fire Nation, pretty much take over," which is what, what they've been doing, I guess, the last hundred years is, is trying to take over the whole world. But, uh, yeah, obviously, as the Avatar, he's like, dude, we need all four of these. Like, we can't just all be fire. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It definitely got uh, pretty intense after that. Yeah, we saw the end uh, at the end of the episode. Um, Roku in his, you know, end, end old age, end of life. And... He was defending his home from a volcano. He lived on Ember Island. The volcano erupted, and he saved everyone in in the village. It looked like, but uh, was was trying his hardest to prevent the volcano from destroying everything. And Sozin showed up to to even support his friend, who I don't think they'd seen each other in like 20 years or something like that. It'd been a long time, but Sozin came to help out. Um, unfortunately, Roku got knocked down by like the toxic fumes or whatever, and Sozin made a choice. He did not, he did not save his friend, left him there to die, and Roku did die. He passed away with his dragon Fang, and um, Aang was born. That's when that's when Aang came into the, into play. But uh, we obviously know how that turned out. Um, but I, I just really liked the last episode because we got to see both Aang and Zuko like learn about like how this war came to be and just like learn about uh ancestors in general not really Aang's ancestors his past life but you know what I mean yeah but in the first episode the beach um Zuko I feel like they all sort of learn something down when they're on the beach I forget what those old ladies said but like the beach brings out the the honesty or something and you i forget what it exactly was but on the beach zuko did say that he hates himself um he's mad at himself for a, a abundance of reasons and i feel like i mean i was thinking his redemption was coming last season until he just randomly picked to be on uh, his sister's side azula i mean that was kind of dumb and obviously uh, Ira's building up, getting strong, and Zuko sort of finding his ways. I feel like they're probably going to be close again and help um, the Avatar take down the fire guys. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, before we get into these episodes. If you guys have been enjoying the Avatar reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, A Talk, all of our social medias, and the address to our PO box. But yeah, let's get into it. Avatar The Last Airbender, Book 3, Episodes 7 and 8, The Runaway, and The Puppet Master. Let's go. What? How could you do this to me? You betrayed me. You brought this on yourself. I think this is not real. <laughs> What's going on? I think it's real. Really? Not a dream, I don't think. Oh wow. Definitely a setup for something, but like it happened. A little duel? A little sparring? Who are we taking? Who are we taking? Tough. Now Aang's in the mix. Oh, feel it. Trying to learn how to see like Toph. Ooh, Katara, you can see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit. Taking a break? <laughs> Aang's just trying to train. <laughs> Sneak attacks don't work if you yell it out loud. Huh. Hungry for a mud pie? 
guys, I thought we were supposed to be training me. <laughs> the Avatar, who needs to be ready by summer's end. So guys, what are we going to get with our last silver piece? We can get more money. Right there. Gambling. They could feel for it. This is where you see yeah. people are at a disadvantage. <laughs> She's gonna hustle. She's like, oh, let me feel around. <laughs> let me see what's going on. Oh, double it. Ah, this would be OP. You are amazing at this. Would you like to make the game a little more interesting? More interesting? How? <laughs> Gambling. When your friends find sword there, then I'll put up 20 silver pieces against it, and that's more interesting. <laughs> no. No, we just got that sword. No. It's in your sleeve. Oh! Ah, put it back. Put it back. Sorry, little lady, but... Huh? <laughs> Take that L. Let's go! Hold that. That's so free. <laughs> Thought they were gonna swindle Toph. She scams one of those guys in town who moves the shells around all sneaky like. She used Dude, Katara hates Toph sometimes. <laughs> I think she's just very jealous. I only cheated because he was cheating. I cheated a cheater. Yes, What's sir. Because it's fun and you hate fun? <laughs> I hate fun. See? Oh, uh, crying hard, Katara. Personally, make you an avatar promise that we won't make a habit of doing these scams. He shows zero. Oh, <laughs> looks like they're doing more scams. Oh, look at this weak little girl. <laughs> she just earthbended it. They're gonna have a lot of money, man. I guess it is fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me the money. Insurance money. They're literally doing insurance fraud right now. <laughs> Was that uh, Sokka? Yeah. You're acting like this because of your parents. They were controlling over you, so you ran away, and now you act like your parents don't exist. You act like you hate them, but you don't. All right, Katara, are we psychoanalyzing people now? Hockey, welcome to Team Avatar. My name's Sokka, and I'm your <laughs> hockey? And He's got a hawk now. Good little messenger, Hockey. Who's got pretty better? <laughs> Is that the hawk? That's a... <laughs> that I wanted? You're right, Hockey. This is bad. Katara turns her in at the beginning. Oh. Ew. Oh. Hockey pooped. <laughs> shit on his hand. White shit. Bird. <laughs> Are our birds poop white? Yeah. R R. R. They've nicknamed you the Runaway. A wanted poster. That's so great. <laughs> the Runaway. I love my new nickname. <laughs> <laughs> She's fully embracing it. Plenty of money to help with the invasion plan. Well, that is true. I had this idea of making armor for Appa. Ooh, I'm listening. listening. <laughs> hmm. Maybe Katara turns her in for the reward money, and then Toph can just get herself out with metal bending. Now we can send messages all over the world. That bird looks like Ira. Wow, how does it Wait till you see his face. It, see? Uh, no, <laughs> that looks like a bird. <laughs> Momo. <laughs> that was all Momo. <laughs> well, That's a crazy way to feed off of. <laughs> What's this? I don't know. She can't see, guys. <laughs> I've been so out of control lately. I knew something was up. I knew you were hiding something, and you were. Because you're not my mom, and you're not their mom. I never said I was. No, but you certainly act Ooh. like Ooh. Girls, please. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Are you kidding me right now? This is what we're into? I'm staying out of this one. What do you think, Aang? Do I act like a mom? Well, I... Stop rubbing your eye and speak clearly when 
you talk. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> prime example. <laughs> I'm going to send a note to Katara and say it's from Top who wants to apologize. Then everyone will be friends again. You think it's air. It's a good idea. Dear Katara, sorry Dude. for everything. <laughs> Top, right? The blind girl? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sokka? Our family was a mess. But Katara, she had so much strength. She stepped up and took on so much responsibility. She helped fill the void that was left by her mom. I guess I never thought about that. Dude, we've had so many episodes where Katara is literally just held down the group by being an, ad an adult. I'm not sure I can remember what my mother looked like. <laughs> they, they, are you saying they just need to be kids? No, I'm just saying, like, they're, they're giving her too much shit, Loki. When I try to remember my mom... Katara's is the only face I can pick up. Aww, that's sweet. Sometimes Katara does act mother. What is she doing down there? Baiting. She's compassionate and kind. And See, I wouldn't go in the shadow because it's probably colder. The real me. That's more than my own mom. Ugh. Don't ever tell her I said any of this. Well. Hey, my lips are sealed. Heard every word. Did Sokka know she was down there? I don't know. Actually, I wasn't going to apologize. I was going to say I want to pull a scale. Yeah, reward money. <laughs> <laughs> Not just any scam. The ultimate scam. The best scam ever. Me and you. One last go. You in? You know I'm in. Yes, sir. They're going to do the turn in and then the little shwam bam take out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> you guys give me too much shit like they give Katara. The wham bam, clip bam bam. <laughs> How could you do this to me? You betrayed me. You brought this on yourself. I had no choice. I am a Fire Nation girl. <laughs> you did the right thing by turning in the runaway. The right thing is its own reward. Well, I'm happy to hear you say that. No. I still want the actual reward. Of course. I'm right this way. Tosh is getting dragged on the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna fuck. Uh oh. Hey, what kind of cell is this? A wooden one. Oh no. Oh, we didn't think of that. That's her. That's the girl you were looking for. Oh no. Oh, it's Big Man with the eyes. I. I single single eye three three eyes. You two behave. Op is in charge. The op is in charge. <laughs> Listen to Oppa. <laughs> you guys, I don't want any of that shit. See, this is exactly why I'm against these scams. I knew this would happen <laughs> until you weren't. Tara, you are fun. If nothing else, you're at least fun to argue with. <laughs> My relationship with your parents is complicated. And I shouldn't have said what I said. I was really mad when you said that because, well, because maybe it's true. I try not to think about it, but when I left, I probably really hurt them. No, Toph's not allowed to cry. That's too sad. Dude's like the Full Metal Alchemist. He's got the auto mill arm and leg. Oh, oh. Jesus, dude. Dude, it is. Sparky Sparky Boom Man. That's literally a Zuff name. That's something you would call him. How? I'd call him Z Zados. Kratos, but put a Z at the front. Oh, bend. Got that moisture. S S bending your own sweat? Are you okay? <laughs> Look at her, she looks insane. Looks like she's trying to poo. My own water. Toph was just crying. 
Slice, slice, slice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, that was armpit. <laughs> dude, this guy is busted. I know, dude. He's an animal. This guy is too good. It's blowing up. Sokka, get your sword out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is he not... Is he just running? I mean, there's no way he gets near him. Like, this guy is insane. <laughs> Shoots bombs out of his head. Oh, that's hurty. What a land. Oh, oh my god. Rose's head. Team Avatar, let's go. Let's get out of here. Looks like a dog with a cone on its head. Here comes a shot. Oh, so this weak point. Oh, just blew himself up. She clogged him up. Hey, I got it. The perfect name for that guy. Combustion man. Good job, Sokka. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Sokka. Good way to use your sword. The hell did he train for anyways? <laughs> well, it's not music. Hockey, how about you, buddy? Yeah, you're such a lazy little bird. <laughs> I need you to write some things down for me. I want to send a letter to my parents. I'll be happy to help. Yeah. Go get them, Hockey. Little do you know, your parents sent two people to try to get you, Doc. Hey, where'd Hockey go? <laughs> <laughs> The blade of wing fun was haunted! <laughs> <laughs> Who gave him a sword? One winter, when mom was a girl, a snowstorm buried the whole village for weeks, and some others went to check on Nini's family. When they got there, no one was home. Where'd Nini go? She heard a voice. It's so cold, and I can't get warm. <laughs> what? Mom turned and That's saw like Nini standing by the girl. fire. Katara was getting scary. Mom ran outside for help, but when everyone came back, she wasn't there. Was gone. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, guys, did you hear that? I hear people under the mountain, and they're screaming. What? Nice try. No, I'm serious. I hear. I hear something. All right, now I'm getting scared. Hello, children. Ah, uh, <laughs> woman, woman's voice. Sorry to frighten you. My name is Hama. You children shouldn't be out in the forest by yourselves at night. You should come back there for some spiced tea and warm beds. Uh oh, that sounds sketchy. It's gonna be haunted. When the moon turns full, people walk in, and they don't come out. Don't go in those woods. It's the Forbidden Forest. I know, Momo. This place is creepy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, right. Tomorrow's the full moon. Uh-oh. Exactly. I can't lose another delivery boy in the woods. Uh-oh. The werewolves come People out. People keep saying they're going missing. This is a mysterious little town you have here. <laughs> mysterious town for mysterious children. Very ominous. I'm gonna take a look around. It'll be fine. You could be home any minute. You going in all the rooms. Uh oh, what's he gonna find? I'm not finished yet. <laughs> Come on! Oh jeez, the puppet master. Okay, that's pretty creepy. So Hi, she's a Just an ordinary puppet loving innkeeper, huh? Then why does she have a locked door up here? Probably to keep people like you from snooping through- She made puppets of all the people that she took from the f woods. Maybe there's a key here somewhere. Oh, hand it over. <laughs> That's so cool. Metal bending. I don't know about this. This is crazy. I'm leaving. Suit yourself. Do it, Toph. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what's in the box. 
What's in the box? A comb. An old comb? It's the last thing I own from growing up in the Southern Water Tribe. Whoa. Southern Water Tribe. That's where Hold we're up. from. Are we going to reveal? Southern Water Tribe? Just like you. Oh. How did you know? I heard you talking around your campfire. Oh, what if it's Nini? Who? Nini? Oh, that's a good shout. I knew I felt a bond with you right away. And I knew you were keeping a secret, so I guess we're both right. Now let's get cooking. Let's go cook. Let's cook. Who let her cook? Let Hama cook. Who wants five flavors soup? Water bend. Okay, okay. You're a water bend. That's because the Fire Nation wiped them all out. I was the last one. The last waterbender. I was stolen from my home. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what that means. No, we've seen that before. Damn. Taking it out. We did our best to hold them oh, that was the ship. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it was. Who's the last one? I too was captured. Last man standing. The last waterbender of the Southern Water Tribe. Is that Katara's mom? It looks this like is 60 it. years ago. Ah. Oh. Grand Grand. I can't tell you what it means to meet you. It's an honor. You're a hero. I'd like to teach you what I know so you can carry on the Southern Actually, Hama, I know more than you. <laughs> Katara's are always open to some knowledge. That's why you have to learn to control water wherever it exists. I've even used my own sweat for water bending. <laughs> Did you know you can even pour water out of thin air? The moisture in the air. I mean, that's just overpowered then. You've got to keep an open mind, Katara. There's water in places you never think about. Oh. Damn. Bro, she got tricks, bro. She's got tricks. Well, I thought those were only for kids. Well, huh. they even make those anymore. Tricks are for kids. They don't make the commercials. The moon spirit is a gentle, loving lady. She rules the sky with compassion <laughs> and lunar goodness. That's you, a you're talking about. Can you tell us anything about the spirit that's been stealing people? Only one man ever saw it and lived. And that's old man Ding. <laughs> Where does old man Ding? Gotta hit up Ding. You can take it even further. Oh. Okay. Just Wild kill those stuff. plants, though. About the lilies, though. They're just flowers. When you're a waterbender in a strange land, you do. You know what I was love. thinking just now? What? Isn't there water in like? In people, like in blood, what if they just like waterbenders use like the water inside of people and just kill them like that? <laughs> Wouldn't they just do that realistically? I don't know. I, I have no clue. I don't really know how that works. I don't think any of us do. Old man Dane, you become a bloodbender. Yeah. Can't you see I'm busy? Thing. Forced me to start walking toward the mountain, trying to find it, but I couldn't control my own limbs. <laughs> it just about had me into a. It's the puppet master. Looked up at the moon for what I thought would be my last glimpse of light. It probably is the puppet the master. Started to rise. We saw him in there. He was in the closet. Yeah, that was who I thought Ira was. Why would a spirit want to take people to a mountain? Oh no! I did hear people screaming under the mountain. The missing villagers must still be there. What's under the mountain? The puppet master. I don't think she's good. For generations, it has blessed waterbenders with its glow, allowing oh. us to do incredible things. Uh oh! Uh oh! He's a werewolf. I've never felt more alive. She's scaring me. <laughs> Definitely a different vibe than before. Uh 
Oh gosh. A lot of people. A lot of people down here. Who brought you here? It was no spirit. It was a witch. Uh oh. Yeah. A witch? But she controls people like some dark puppet master. Hama. I knew there was something creepy about her. <laughs> you have to stop Hama. Sokka's always right. He is always right. I realized that where there is life, there is water. The rats that scurried across the floor of my cage were nothing more than skins filled with liquid. Ooh. Years developing the skill that would lead to my escape. Blood bending. Oh, didn't I just say blood yeah. bending? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Didn't I just say water within the body? Yeah. Rats. I was ready for the men. Oh, gosh. And during the next full moon. That's not cool. Once you perfect this technique, you can control anything or anyone. She's crazy. Katara, they tried to wipe us out our entire culture. Your mother. I know. Then you should understand what I'm talking about. We're the last waterbenders of the <laughs> Southern tribe. We have to fight these people. Why is she holding hostages? Fire Nation, I guess. You're the one who's making people disappear during the full moon. <laughs> they threw me in prison to rot, along with my brothers and sisters. They deserve the same. Ooh, Ew. she's on a revenge mission, bro. I won't, I won't use bloodbending, and I won't allow you to keep terrorizing this town. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you don't have much of a choice, Katara. It's impossible to fight your way out of my grip. I control every muscle, every vein in Wouldn't your Wouldn't you just make your heart explode? Yeah. That's where the Nickelodeon side of it comes into play. Yeah. Bucket <laughs> <laughs> comes and cuts her head off. <laughs> She blood the only one who draws power from the moon. Oh, go off, Queen. More powerful than yours, Hama. Huh? Go off, Katara. Hama. Oh, they're going at it. Bro, Katara fucking trained the Avatar. Like, let's be real. She's busting that ass. Give up! You're outnumbered! No. <laughs> You've outnumbered yourself. The Puppet Master. Ooh. It's taking water from everything. Oh, no. <laughs> This feels weird. Dang, you can do like three different bendings. Do them. Yeah. That means that Anne can learn blood bending. Don't hurt your friends, Katara. And don't let them hurt each other. No! Oh, Katara. She's using the evil power. Until she bloodbends again. Congratulations, Katara. You're a bloodbender. Yeah, that last episode was pretty crazy. The puppet master. It was Hama, this creepy old lady. Looking back, she was very, very creepy and suspicious. And she was the one taking the Fire Nation people, hid them under a mountain, which is, I, I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't really know why she had. I guess maybe she was like try like practicing on those puppets to control them. I don't know why she just had so many puppets in her closet, but pretty much, I mean, she was crazy and weird, but she did honestly teach a lot this episode uh, because her and Katara, like Katara is the, the first time she's seen a Southern waterbender in 60 years or something. So she probably did have a soft spot for her, but Katara being Katara did not want to learn bloodbending. And she's like that. 
It kind of reminded me of like Harry Potter, like those those types of the flipping or the, the curses or whatever. The yeah, the, spells. the ones oh. you can do, but like you don't, like, don't do that. Yeah, and yeah, just seeing the Katara wasn't as evil and out for revenge like that as she was. Uh, definitely got into that crazy fight and uh, just seeing how blood bending is. It's just I can't even imagine what that feels like. You just have no control over your body. It's literally, like you literally are a puppet, but um, she has that in her back pocket now. Uh, maybe, maybe Ozai, like that's one, <laughs> the one person you can maybe use it against. But besides that, uh, don't try that. I would say, like, I don't know, just keep, just keep that one hidden for for good, and don't spread the word on that going forward. Let's just kill that off with this generation yeah it seems like bloodbending might be a little bit op i mean you can just quite literally kill anyone easily just waterbenders could look at people and make their hearts explode obviously that's not nickelodeon like rob said i mean dude when you think about it like firebenders could just burn people alive like like waterbenders can cut metal in half with water like they could they could easily be killing each other yeah. in a lot of different ways. I feel like that might be the easiest way though. You just look at someone and go, and then their heart explodes. That is not hard. I mean, like Ozai is done for. Katara, all, all Katara has to do is teach Aang or do it herself, and just boom. But yeah, that was a great episode. Um, great two episodes. It was fun learning about bloodbending. Um, I'm sure now that it's brought up, it's gonna be a thing i feel like for sure yeah i was uh very excited um to see this episode when i when i realized that this was the one we were watching uh just because the learning about the blood bending is all like one of the things i've always remembered about avatar like this is definitely a standout episode um i used to always think like when i was a kid i used to think that like hama was just like straight up a bad guy though and i, I mean she she's definitely like a not a great person bad person shouldn't have been abducting those people but uh it's interesting to like watch it now as an adult and like she was literally stolen from her home imprisoned watched all of her com like the comrades and people around her her family just die and then like escaped like she was definitely like driven to a point of like craziness by the fire nation and held just like an insane grudge against them and like he's like jet she yeah kind of it was similar to jet just like she was she had gone through so much pain caused by the fire nation that she just hated all of them and i mean took out the the aggression in the wrong way but um yeah she, she wasn't as evil as i remember as i remembered her being i thought she was just straight up like a evil witch um but no she she definitely had a reason for for doing what she did but the first episode we saw Toph and Katara have have some beef. We they've had issues in the past before, just the girlies butting heads, but uh, kind of resolved itself in the end. And we actually had to make another quick escape away from what did Sokka call him? Like Shaki Shaki Boom Man or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Then he oh he called him Combustion Man at the yeah, end. He yeah. said yeah Combustion Man. Had another encounter with him. Uh, Toph hit him in the eye with a rock that stumbled him a little bit but uh yeah keep running into this guy um maybe later down the road we will see him again all right guys that's pretty much it though for these episodes if you guys have been enjoying the avatar the last airbender reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social media is in the address to our p.o box we'll catch you guys next time for episode nine of avatar the last airbender peace out